Okay, on we go, marching on. This little beauty is a Phoenix ST30 uh, from around the 90s. Um, some of you may know that Phoenix uh, produced Fender copies for Fender, Squire guitars too. For a short period of time they got pretty good very fast. And then they made their own line of guitars and uh, some of them are quite good. Um, this one is not an exception. Uh, I bought this because I wanted to try a guitar with an ebony fretboard. I didn't have one at that time. Um, it's a couple of years ago and this was used, of course. Um, it had a few things. The original tremolo system was not good. It looked like a decent copy, but it was bad. Um, so I wanted to do uh, my version of a Guthrie Govan guitar. Um, I don't want 24 frets, and I don't want HSS. I want HS. I don't want HSH. I don't want HSS. So. I ditched the locking nut, filled it out, put in a graph tick, and put locking tuners on also, you know. Um, then I tried, um, well, I, I looked for stuff, and I was uh, considering getting a Goto Floyd, but I really wanted a non-fine tuner trim and um, I tried contacting Floyd Rose about uh, the model for this and uh, it didn't really work uh, because you can you can get the, the non-locking uh, non fine tuner Floyd Rose um, but you have to order a separate arm if you want the push-in type and um, sometimes it's hit or miss because the pictures on the Floyd Rose uh, side doesn't show all angles and doesn't show uh, how it's mounted because they have different mounting systems. Some are super good, but there's a uh, one with a very little color that's not good, and I didn't want to take a chance on that. I knew the black one was was good because I had it before, so I ordered uh, instead. A Shella vintage uh, trim, which is um, based, is a two point system and it works on a Floyd Rose, um, like a Floyd Rose, has same spacing. It has roller saddles and um, they're kind of good. Now I've played it for a while and it seems to get better the more I played, like it was um, probably had to be a little worn in but when you string it up the high strings can uh, get caught between the roller and the saddle and that's a nightmare uh, but the good part is you can string it like a normal guitar so it's faster string change um, and the bridge sounds really really good uh, by itself it really sounds good um, but there was a lot of uh, um, I had to do a lot of adjustment because it has a different block than the normal Floyd, so that gives a whole lot of issues. And also the block length, you know, you have to consider that the original was a 32 and the shell is different, so you you have to do what you have to do to make things work. Now it's working, it's uh, sounding very good. Um, the pickups original I like them um, they are humbucking both the singles and of course the humbucker and um, so they're not the worst part of the guitar at all um, I'm just a, you know constant tinkering but I could have lived with the pickups because they are they're hum cancelling and uh, they sound actually quite good but there's of course they're, they're a little little dull 
Um, but for some sounds, it's good. Um, but now to the main objective here. Um, the L200s I had in the S thread, I moved to this one. This is an elder body, and um, I tried a different different combinations of uh, humbuckers, both uh, L90s and L500s, and I settled on a Tone Rider Rock Song bridge pickup because that is a L Nico two humbucker, and um, it fits. It's it's not super hot, but it's kind of hot, and I have the Q filter on the middle position, and again a, f a five wave super switch, so I have a um, bridge neck in the middle position, and uh, let me demonstrate, um, I'll get, uh, let's see, what have we got here, oh, um, I have, ah, I got sometimes got a problem with the helix, because, you know, all this uh, grounding, when I connect it to the computer, you get a little grounding noise, but then I can't use the interface, so let's get it back. So if there's a little noise coming in, it has to do with the uh, computer grounding. Okay, let's see. We got this, and I'll go to the. It's a clean sound. All right, cleanish. I have a little tim, little bit of Timmy on, just for some itch. Okay. Everything up. Nick, pick up. If I take the Timmy off, now you can hear what I'm talking about when I talk about um, the clean sounds. middle neck bridge middle let's take the delay off thank you very much Bridge pick up. Now I'll engage the Q filter to about seventy five percent. At the bridge and bridge mid. And neck bridge.
So you can hear this is um, almost sophisticated. It's a very sweet, clear sound. Um, and uh, I'll keep this for um, when I have to do like uh, more poppy things. It's definitely not a heavy metal guitar. to say I'll use the same backing track as uh, the other one and um, just noodle around a little and uh, then you can hear and I'll start with first uh, getting the Timmy back on and um, let's see where we land Here it goes.
This will give you an idea of um, what the L200S's can do. So, um, sound phenomenal. And uh, if you're into uh, pop and dance, band, something like that, you will probably love them. Um, so, for this purpose, they're in this guitar. And uh, again, it's a good package. Um, as I don't play that 
much pop music and little it's not the my number one guitar but it's there and it's ready and it has the sounds i need for that and um so i hope this again gives you a little info into the world of your launch pickups and uh, how you can use them this is not advertising and this is not uh, i'm not paid i'm just a player and uh, i've tried a lot of things a lot of things for my own money and when i find things that work i generally stick with them for a long time like in for instance also the hs2s um i tried all a lot of other gematio pickups um and most of them are just hotter and i don't like that you know it it has to do with how you work your amp that's very um, that's a principle for me so if i get um you know i have a good clean amp and i want the single coils to be able to come through clean and dynamic and um the moment you start using harder single coils to match your humbucker, everything gets gained up and you lose dynamic, get more compressed, and um, you really can't get that back anyway. So you have to think in those terms. If you want high gain sounds and all that, go with the hot pickups, do that. Um, but you lose, if you come from a vintage perspective, you lose something there. So again, when, like I say, when you uh, have a good single coils and you match the humbucker, the humbucker doesn't have to be that hot. You know, it's, it will always sound hotter than the single coils. So it's a, again, it's a trick of the mind. Um, so I match things up to the single coils because then I have, no, I have good clean bass sound uh, and I can kick it up, you know, with drives and all that. But the basic sound is dynamic, clear, uh, well-defined. So that's my angle on getting the basic sound. I hope, um, I hope it makes sense. And um, again, I hope you can use this video for something in your tone search. Okay, bye.